The Baki series has been characterized for handling crude and bizarre situations. That's why this time, I bring you a top 5 of the most shocking and bizarre moments of the series. In this series, we have seen many moments that have left us with our mouths wide open. But this time I gave myself the task of finding the 5 moments where the series reached its most shocking level. Before I start, I want to let you know that this is my personal opinion. If you think there is another moment that should be in the top, feel free to say so in the comment box. If this video gets a lot of support, I will probably upload the second part. So without further ado, let's go to number 6. Sixth place goes to Yujiro Hanma with that punch on Yanagi's face. Yanagi was in the middle of a fight against Mothabe, however, despite being defeated and humiliated, this guy didn't want to accept his defeat. It is at this moment that the ogre appears to do his thing. The strongest creature on earth appears to observe the fight and taunts Mothabe, then asks Yanagi if he was prepared to accept defeat. Yanagi, with balls the size of Jupiter, tells Yujiro, that he has no right to decide that. Yujiro laughs and calmly tells him that he is right, but suddenly changes his mind and throws a powerful punch in Yanagi's face. Let's take a look at this moment. Many thought that this was the end of this guy. But then we realize that he managed to survive the strongest fist on the planet. Some say that Yujiro attacked him to get revenge for what he did to Baki. Remember that Baki was on the verge of death thanks to Yanagi's poison. Jack is characterized by his fighting style, which is based on biting. In fact, there are many other fights in which he has bitten more than one part of his opponent. But today we are going to talk about what for me is the toughest fight this character has had. This was one of the wildest fights ever seen in the series. Recall that both are fighters who use the bite as their main weapon. There were really few moments where Jack took advantage. There was even a moment where he was asking God for help. The wildest moments were when Pickle ripped off part of Jack's face. The caveman left Jack in total shock as he didn't expect to lose in a biting contest. But after that, Jack wanted revenge and bit Pickle's ear. This enraged the caveman. Pickle gave Jack a beating that practically made him dance in the air. They had another round, but in the end, the caveman took the victory for the second time. This was one of the wildest fights we've seen in the series, and surely this is the fight many are hoping to see in the new season coming out next year on Netflix. Baki and his girlfriend had one of the weirdest moments ever seen in the series, and not because of the act itself, but because of the consequences it brought. In the fan community, this is used as a joke, and the truth is that it makes sense. I think only in the Fate series have I seen something like that. I mean getting stronger after sex. It's funny because Ithagaki even wrote an entire chapter of the manga for this. In the Netflix series, it was quicker, but it was still awkward, especially if you were watching that chapter with your family. After carrying out that act, Baki became so strong that he even managed to humiliate the guy who almost ended his life. Fans started calling this the PP training. This is one of those weird but funny moments at the same time. This is definitely Baki. In third place is the Hane Alma vs. Spec fight. This is without a doubt one of my favorite fights in the series. The amount of brutality seen in this fight earned Haneyama the title of the indestructible man. In addition to his incredible strength, Speck used all his dirty tricks in combat. He got Haneyama in trouble more than once. The moment when he used the ammunition he stole from the police station was insane. Luckily, Haneyama managed to survive this. He had said it, this was not going to be a fight like the others. Let's remember that in the underground arena the only rule is that no weapons are allowed. Speck knew they weren't in the underground arena and took advantage of that. 
Then, when he attacked Kaneyama's knees, many of us thought that was going to be the end of the fight. But come on, this guy is made of steel, and that didn't stop him from busting Speck's arm with sheer brute force. I think we can all agree that this fight deserves to be in the top 10 best fights of the series. In fact, I might make my top 10 very soon. Tell me in the comments where you think this fight deserves to be. The Dark Tunnel is a technique of the master of environmental combat. We'd only seen this technique once, and it was too shocking. The guy enters through the lower part of a person's body and exits through his mouth. It all happens in a couple of seconds, and we still don't know exactly how this technique works. Gaia is a guy full of tricks and mystery. I don't think we have seen all these tricks yet. He is a guy who always has something new to show. I haven't seen any other technique as brutal as the Dark Tunnel in the series. What do you think would happen if he tried to use this technique against Yujiro? Could he defeat Yujiro, or would he die trying? This is a very funny but also interesting question. The truth is that it wouldn't be bad to see what would happen. Do you think this technique should be in the top 10 best techniques of the series? This was undoubtedly the most shocking moment of the series. We all know what happened, and how it happened. There are even two videos that explain it on this channel. You can go watch them if you still don't know what happened. Many people were upset when this chapter came out. However, others came to Yujiro's defense, saying that this behavior was part of the character. For some fans, it was as simple as understanding that if Yujiro wants something, he just takes it. What has really surprised me is that people are more upset about the fact that Yujiro did what he did to a man, and not about how truly horrible the act itself is. I mean, when he did the same thing to Jack's mother, no one said anything but now Yujiro assaults a man, and everyone goes crazy. While on one hand I understand them, this event really didn't help build the story of the series. If the Gaki told us that Yujiro has so much testosterone, that he sees all other human beings as women. Personally, I think that was unnecessary. If Ithagaki wanted to tell us how badass Yujiro is, he could have done it in a different way. But well, this is past history, and is now only remembered as a bizarre moment in the series. Some people joke about it because they say that Joe William must be a very strong man to survive Yujiro's attack. What do you think about this? Do you think it was necessary to build Yujiro's character? From my point of view, I think there were better ways to make Yujiro look like a monster. There are other shocking moments in the series, such as when Motobe defeated Jack Hanma. Undoubtedly at that moment, the fans went crazy and started to hate him. And we can't forget the moment when Nomi humiliated Biscuit Oliva. That was one of the craziest moments in the series. No one imagined that the strongest man in America would be treated like a punching bag. We could even add Baki's fight against Ali Jr. That was one of the most disappointing fights of the series. Ollie didn't stand a chance against Baki, and was just humiliated during the whole fight. Yujiro could have a whole video with all his most bizarre moments. He is one of the most unpredictable characters in fiction. Retz's death is one of the most shocking and saddest moments of the series. It was something no one expected. Many of us already expected Masashi to win the fight, but we were not ready to say goodbye to the master of Chinese martial arts. His death was something very unexpected, because he was one of the main characters, and until now all of them had managed to stay alive. But well, now he is in another world living new adventures, and even has his own series. But well, this is just my opinion. In this video, I wanted to share what for me are the most bizarre and shocking moments of the Baki series, tell me your opinion of these moments, and feel free to leave your ideas for future videos in the comments box. And well friends, thanks for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.